happy to be here uh, with my colleagues because my colleagues standing behind me and with me here actually believe in sovereignty and securing the border of the United States. I woke up yesterday morning in Laredo, Texas, having spent the day before uh, visiting with Border Patrol, riding along with Border Patrol along the border in Laredo, going down to the river, meeting with Border Patrol. We had 15 apprehensions while I was with them, and we couldn't grab and stop everybody that was uh, coming across the, the border. Uh, we met with Border Patrol at a part of the Rio Grande where you can walk across and met with an agent who had a three-mile stretch he was in charge of solo by himself because so many Border Patrol agents at radar are now in the Rio Grande Valley running processing centers. Your border, ladies and gentlemen, Americans, listen to me, your border is wide open. Right. It is being exploited by cartels right now, today. Fentanyl, dangerous narcotics, opioids are getting driven up between the ports of entry, exploiting wide open borders that Border Patrol is outmanned, outgunned. You got a 70 mile stretch in Laredo with two miles of navigable road. You go down there, you go ride in the vehicles. Media, go do your job and go show the American people what is actually happening at our border. Because we've got hundreds of thousands of people rushing our border because the Biden administration doesn't give a whit about the actual immigrants. They want political benefits for the Democratic Party. That's it and nothing more. Because if you actually cared about immigrants, you wouldn't allow them to be abused by cartels on a journey so that you can try to get more voters or say that you're pro-immigrant in the false name of compassion. But that is what the Biden administration, that is what Nancy Pelosi, that is what Chuck Schumer is doing today. And real people get hurt. These are human beings, American citizens who are having their ranches run over, houses broken into, high-speed chases, people getting absolutely destroyed along the southern border. The Democratic mayor of Del Rio saying that they've got a crisis. Where are the Democrats? They don't care. They literally do not care about what's happening on our southern border. And yet it is destroying our sovereignty, harming American citizens, harming immigrants. A strong border is pro-immigrant. A strong border is pro-America. And yet our president is either completely oblivious to what's going on or he's actually enabling it and encouraging it. Either one of those is completely unacceptable. They go after President Trump saying <clears throat> impeachment twice over. Yet this president is refusing to take care to execute the laws of the United States. That's right. You tell me what's going on down at the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue. You tell me who's in charge. Because no rational human being leading a country would allow this to happen on our southern border. I would ask every member of the media, get in a plane, go to the Rio Grande Valley. Go look at what's happening. Go see how many people are being processed and brought into this country, encouraging the cartels to continue to abuse human beings. $30,000, $7,000 a head. They're making $11 million a day in the Laredo sector, moving human beings and narcotics for profit. Think about that. The, American, the United States of America, the most powerful nation in the history of the world, we're allowing that to be our southern border? It is completely unacceptable, and I'm proud to stand with my colleagues here highlighting this for the American people, but we're not going to stop. We're not going to wait for the turnover in 2022 or 2024. We're going to highlight this every single day because it's impacting our country. One final point. <clears throat> we just voted as a body, Republicans, uh, on a new rule with respect to earmarks. I got to tell you, I've been around this town as a staffer and now as a member for 15, 20 years. The Republican Party just abandoned principle at the doorstep of wanting to say they're going to bring home dollars for people back in the district. When we have $30 trillion in debt, they just dove right into the swamp. Well, I got to say, that isn't the leadership that we need. The Republican Party should be ashamed of itself for embracing earmarks when the American people are staring $30 trillion of debt, businesses shut down while we spent $6 trillion in the last year destroying our economy, shutting down businesses and harming the American people. Instead of going down and burying ourselves in the swamp, we should be standing up against the Democrats and what they're trying to do to continue what's broken about this town. We're going to stand up as a group and we're going to continue to fight that kind of corruption as well as stand up for a secure border and defend the people of the United States.